Hello and welcome to Everyday Rebellion. My name is Michalis Eleftoriou. I'm an activist from Cyprus and the founder of Language Transfer. Today I want to talk about what for me is an important subject and that's the revolution depression that many of us feel after an initial uprising we might experiment in our country. The loss of maybe the naivety or the hope that we have in this situation where we feel all powerful, uh, being together and connected in this square and setting other roles, then suddenly we don't really see where this is going and we get depressed and many of us leave activism behind. I think it's really important to see these movements and these processes as a way of life rather than an event, a process rather than an event. Why are you participating in civil society? Why have you decided to go to the square? Because there are just some final achievements that you want to reach or because when you're standing in Gezi or in Tahrir or wherever, it is, or wherever it is, you're feeling this interconnectedness. You're feeling this, this experience of being connected with your society, about feeling like a protagonist in it, taking ownership of it, where other people's rights and happiness and worries are your own. This is the high that we get in the square. This is what we get addicted to rather than running away from police and throwing rocks. What is addictive about these processes is this feeling of love and connectiveness, which has been so uh, stolen from us in the systemic paradigm in which we are living. In this systemic paradigm, we're always looking at tomorrow. Capitalism is selling us the tomorrow that never comes. We sell our youth, our time, our creativity and our energy always on the promise of tomorrow. So of course it's very natural in these situations we might ask what has come of this? What did we achieve of this? Did the government change? Are there less poor people? Is there more security? I think this is a very erroneous way of looking at participating in your society in which leads to this revolution depression which steals a lot of our potential energy. Now we can say Activism essentially is about a change of value systems. This is just the beginning of a process of questioning those value systems which can lead us to do other things with our lives. So my point is how to defeat the revolution depression, to see the, the process as a journey and not a destination and make participation in civil society not just something you do when you go to the square in an uprising but part of your everyday life. How can you convert your skills and your interest into something that you can give and enjoy giving, which also improves your personal development? In short, how do we get over the revolution depression? We must make our lives an activist project. When we adopt these values of caring about the needs and the rights of others, then our system may also begin to reflect and promote these same values. But firstly, we must change it in our own lives. Do what we enjoy, do what makes us passionate and do it for free as far as possible.